everyone. Today we are making painted pumpkins. And this is a fun activity if you don't want to carve jack-o'-lanterns this year and you want your pumpkins to last a little bit longer, especially if you're decorating early, you can try painting them and you can be really creative with all different colors and designs. You could use stencils. Uh, in my case, I'm gonna do black and white and I'm thinking of a cat pumpkin, an owl, a moon, a spider, and then a polka dot pumpkin. So I've got matte acrylic black and white paint, and then I have my variety of brushes, and I also picked up some brown foam brushes from Joanne Fabrics, and these will be perfect for making a polka dot pumpkin. So the first thing you wanna do is clean your pumpkins. You can use just a wet rag to wipe them off, make sure they're all clean and ready for paint, and then hold on to this rag so that if you mess anything up, you can wipe the paint off really quick and just start over. Now that my pumpkins are clean, I'm gonna start by painting my cat pumpkin. If you want, you could use a pencil to trace where you want your cat to go, how you want that to look on the pumpkin, and then just paint right over that to give you something to follow as you're painting. I like to start with a kind of bowling pin body. So it's skinny neck and then it curves out. And then I do a pointy football shaped head and you could kind of tilt it to give it a little bit of personality. I will say pumpkin takes on color a lot faster than canvas does. So this is a pleasant painting experience if you're used to painting on canvas, I usually have to do like two or three or four coats to get that thick solid color. So this is really easy. So then I do triangles for the ears. So I do just a simple S for the tail and have it get thicker as it goes down. We can move on to our white details. I'm gonna do some retro diamonds. One thing I'll say about canvas though is that it's flat. So these ridges in this pumpkin are a little tricky. Now for the eyes, I just do more pointy little footballs in white. I do try to get them to match, but that is the tricky part. And then a simple rectangle collar right underneath the head. Finally, we'll just do two little black footballs for the pupils and then the cat will be done. So heavy. So there is our cat pumpkin. The crescent moon, I think, will be an easy one. And basically, just come around here and do a C. or a banana. And since I want every pumpkin to have some black and some white paint, I'm gonna make the stars black. 
And I'm gonna do those as just little simple asterisks. Okay, our crescent moon and stars are all done. So that one is nice and easy if you want a simple painted pumpkin idea. Now let's do our spider pumpkin. So this one is going to have a white spider web in the back with a big black spider in the front. And I guess I'll just keep this kind of simple, maybe do like a, a big asterisk and then web it together. to curve in towards the center like this. So there's our web. Okay, I'm putting a little spider up in the corner of the web with a slightly oval head facing toward the center and then a bigger round body behind that and then of course eight legs two pairs reaching forward and two pairs reaching back and try to make the legs touch the web for realism Eric's gonna hate this so much. I'm gonna do one more spider down here in the same kind of shape. With that, our spider pumpkin is done. Very creepy. I'm not completely convinced that I can paint an owl, but I'm going to try. I'm gonna start by painting a black branch that the owl can be perched on. Now I'll make an oval head, an oval body that kind of comes to a point, and some points on the owl's head. And we'll give him some claws. Now I'm going to give him some pointy black eyes. And I wish he was centered on this branch. So I'm gonna try and make up for that by extending the branch that way and adding some detail up here. Our painted owl pumpkin is all done. So that means all we have left is our easy polka dot pumpkin. This is just going to have black and white polka dots made with these round foam brushes. And I think this should be our easiest one. Oops. There we go. Oh well, I guess this could be a little tricky in the ridges. I'll just use my brush to touch up some edges.
once the black polka dots are dry, then we can put all the white polka dots on. And I'm just putting them in kind of random order and going to overlap some of them and see how that looks. The polka dot pumpkin is all done. So with that, we have finished our painted pumpkins. I thought the polka dots would be the easiest pumpkin, but it was a little trickier than I thought just because these foam brushes get really loaded up with paint. So you have to be extra careful to avoid drips, like try to scrape some of the paint off when you're painting this. And then also just make sure the polka dots dry completely before you start overlapping them. But other than that, it was pretty simple and straightforward and I love the result. Very cute little polka dots. And now I'll put these on the front porch and we'll see how they look.